Hello and welcome back to a very special pricey HD video. Um, today, well, we've got a very exciting one, FIFA 15. Now, this should be coming out around 24 hours after the trailer was actually released and after this itself was actually released, this news feed here. Um, for some reason, the website is coming up in some kind of foreign language, probably Spanish, I think it is. But all the contents of it isn't, just the toolbar up there is, I don't know if that's a glitch from EA. But let's get straight into it. Basically, the FIFA 15 trailer has been released at E3, and we're taking a look at its first news and features. We will also be going to a separate page, which has a separate thing on. Also, that was the trailer there, but that for some reason I haven't loaded. But I wasn't going to show you that anyway. You can go and search that up on YouTube yourself, because, um, of course, copyright reasons. We're going to concentrate on their new features. So um, I've got my cursor here. I'm going to just underline everything which I'm concentrating on. Basically, there is going to be agility and control and correct contacts. Leave defenders in the dust or control the ball like the world's best footballers. So this is sort of first touch control, but it's almost like, a double crossover of that because it's making your control a lot better in comparison to making your control a lot worse. Um, I'm presuming this is literal ball control. You could literally move your feet, quick feet, sort of thing, get around players, get around defenders. This is more of an attackive um, visual, if you like. Authentic player visuals. The next generation of football players here play faces and have an incredible level of detail so basically amazing levels of detail they feel powerful and athletic kits move realistically so um animations in the wind for example and this is great i, I know i've said this sounds really stupid people are like wait that's so good but seriously i'm so happy they're doing this dirt with mud seriously they are finally doing mud you d oh god um you don't get every single day in FIFA, you don't play a football game and then suddenly don't get muddy at the end. You always get muddy. Even if it's dry, you still get a bit of mud or a scrape of mud on you. So that's a very nice feature. Um, obviously the match presentation, that's an adaptation to, um, of course, last year's FIFA on next gen, or FIFA 14 in current the year I suppose. Emotional intelligence. Now this is a key factor really. With over 600 new emotional reactions, players now respond to pivotal moments on the pitch. Bad tackles, missed chances, epic goals as they would in real life. Basically, if you score an awesome goal, you're going to go up to the camera, like the, the, the front view camera right next to the players. They're going to like mess around with it, kiss it, whatever. They're going to run off, go mad, jump on each other. Um, if there is a bad tackle, they're going to fight each other maybe have a bit of a push and a shove. That is pretty damn awesome, and that is what I've wanted in there for a long time. Football out out outbreaks, football emotion, because most players just seemed too dynamic. They seemed too robotic, if you like. They didn't seem to have an actual soul or emotion. Of course, they don't have an actual soul or emotion, but this gives a lot more, um, well, uh, unpredictable outcomes in the game. There's not much, really, FIFA, if you think about it, the basis is really basic. Um, and now we're really going into more in-depth intelligence of the actual virtual character itself. Living pitch, very interesting, um, very interesting things, which basically you're going to find in last year's FIFA. Just a bit of an adaptation to that. Again, corner flags move, um, debris is visible on the pitch, goal frame shake, and animated LED ad boards bring FIFA 15 to life, which is pretty much exactly what they used to do. Man-to-man -man battles, of course, um, sort of linked to the emotional intelligence. Man-to-man -man battles is basically where uh, position and tackles, and physicality, um, and reactions on what is being occurred with um, emotional, basically little uh, little scuffles on the pitch. Basically, you know how like sometimes you get players almost targeting other players because they have a bit of an argument on the pitch, sort of like that. 
Here we've also got team tactics, which um, your AO teammates and opponents now recognise what's happening in the match will adjust their tactics just like real players. Park the bus in the mixer, time wasting. Some of the team tactics you'll come against come up against in FIFA 15. Of course, that is sort of um, annoying in a way. The park the bus option. Say we're piling on pressure, you're doing really well, then suddenly they park the bus, you can't get through them, they catch you on the counter. So it's going to make it a bit harder, I think, personally, and a bit more realistic. It's going to, again, give a bit of emotion, a bit of, um, a bit of physical, like, a bit of intelligence to the game. Players have mental abilities to make their own decisions, especially with the AI. It gives more realism, of course. Oh, I'm trying to look for a word, and it's, it's similar to the emotion, but it's, um, it's not quite emotion. So some interesting features there, basically. It will give a bit more... Um, oh, it's really hard to think of the word. It's not... Well, it is sort of emotion, but a bit more... Soul effort? No, no, okay, I'll, I'll think of it later. But anyway, now we're going to go to a separate page where um, basically it's the main advertisement page where they show off all the things in a bit more of a showcased design. Um, so now we're at this page. Um, just a bit higher, there's a bit of an animation, but I'm not going to show that again for copyright issues mainly. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's copyrighted footage. I think it is. It's from the trailer. But anyway, let's get into this. We've got a bit more information here. Um, Pre-order FIFA 15 now, and you get up to 40 gold packs in this Ultimate Team exclusive. Uh, 40 gold packs over 40 weeks. That's just the basic season ticket stuff, I presume. Um, experience the emotion of football now. We've already gone through that. Uh, follow FIFA 15 news. That's... Um, and FIFA 15 comes to PC. Ignite is coming to PC. Now, this is the main news on this page because Ignite, of course, was only on the next-gen consoles until now where it comes to PC. So any PC fans will have this awesome new engine on their game. So if you want a cheaper way of getting the game, get it on PC. Um, I'm not sure whether I will personally. I'm actually still thinking about it. Probably not. I've always been a console fan, to be honest. But it's probably a definitely good option, considering I've already got a PC. But the problem is, it probably needs a very big PC to run it, and probably needs a very powerful one as well. But that's all for this page. We're going to see what else is uh, elsewhere. Um, so now we're looking at the FIFA 15 uh, features. Again, that image is up top, the animation thing. But, um, okay, I think there's meant to be a picture here. There normally is like a, a picture of a player rendered out. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But again, it's just reiterating the things which we already know. Emotion and intensity. Emotional intelligence. Uh, what's down here? Dynamic match presentation. This is, of course, Man City vs Liverpool. Match day is dynamic and immersive. Oh, match day. Okay, this is an adaptation to the career mode option. Um, the career, Not only the career mode option, the uh, kickoff option as well. So really live football events really implemented into this. Improved commentary will highlight unique fan reactions while chants and behaviours will be relevant to country or even your club. New bench reactions, sideline character animations, 10-man goal celebrations and more will keep you engaged in the story of the match. Okay, 10-man goal celebrations. So I'm presuming that means every single player on the pitch goes over? Or does that mean if you, one of your players have been sent off as, like more reaction because you're sort of ahead with 10 men. I'm presuming it means that everybody goes over, which is pretty mental. Everybody goes and hugs each other, jumps on top of each other. Sort of like Spain v Holland, even though that was including all the subs as well back in the World Cup in 2010. Um, what else is here? Of course, you've got um, your chance. The problem is with the bench reactions and sideline character animations. You can't really see them. Of course, you see them in this cinematic trailer, which makes them look awesome. But you can't really see them when you're doing anything else. But anyway, let's scroll down here. Um, again, just a, another image of a uh, fan's perspective. I wonder whether we'll see any of these in the replays, maybe fan's perspectives of the stadium. That actually looks really realistic. Um, that's pretty nice. Unrivaled intelligence as well. So that's obviously team tactics, intelligence of the players. We've uh, gone over that. Incredible visuals, which is, is, of course, the authenticity of the players. Living pitch. Now, this is sort of all the graph. Living pitch. Now, this is sort of like 
all the grass being ripped up um, off the pitch. There's mud everywhere, rain falling down, really giving an atmosphere to the game, like making the picture look really realistic, different textures on there, um, different 3D effects. Of course, scuff marks where your boots have been, where slide tackles have been made. That's a nice, uh, nice addition. The stadiums are alive, of course. Player control as well. So, of course, um, agility and control. Whoa, that, that doesn't even look realistic at all. His leg looks really, really weird there, Zlatan's leg. Um, but agility and control, of course, that's how the way that the player controls the ball. Man-to-man -man battles. This has sort of already been done before, but nowhere near to such a high scale. Of course, you've got a uh, fundamental changes in the way that you compete for the ball aggressively, etc, etc. Correct contact. So the way that the player makes contact with the ball, of course, you can see Clint Dempsey here. The way that his foot will make contact with the ball would be correct. He's not going to scuff it as often as um, you might have saw in FIFA, 15, FIFA 14, or you might scuff it more. I'm not actually quite sure. You will see better accuracy in the spin, curl and flight of the ball. It moves realistically after each contact. Now, this could turn out two ways. It could be so realistic that you turn out doing loads of outside of the boot goals would curl into the top corner. Or it could be really good and be a lot more realistic. Um, where your outside of the boot shots don't always uh, don't always pay off. Set piece control here as well. You want more set piece tactics. And that is the end of this page. Look, whoa, one minute. Um, your command set pieces. Position off the ball teammates during throw-ins. Yes, finally. Because it's really annoying when you're taking a throw and you throw it and the player like runs forward and misses the ball. Um, corners and free kicks, so they're best place to receive a pass. Basically, it's almost like playing two-player. You are controlling where, you players, where your players stand. This can make free kicks really overpowered when they're just on the edge of the box. You can make your player stand just on the edge of the box, so you pass it to him, he shoots, it could go in. But of course, from corners as well, the movement of the player would be good. Obviously, it sort of takes away the realism. You don't see the accurate, you don't see the accurate throw-ins or there's sort of like lines where you're going to hit it. But that doesn't really matter because, um, of course, it's still a game. And that pretty much is everything that I can find on here. Not much else going on. Of course, you can pre-order it right now. But what? You get messy on a five-game contract if you pre-order this shit. FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Edition. Wow, okay. You'll be able to unlock more players from the EA Sports Football catalogue using football club credits. Basically, the foot loan system. You get to unlock players using the catalogue. You can buy players on the catalogue and have them for five games. The only problem is, of course, after that, they've gone. You can only test them out for five games. Maybe to um, boost your way up the division so you get more money, then you can eventually buy the player, for example, on a permanent deal. A loan system implemented in Ultimate Team, very good idea, but it could make some teams at the very beginning really OP. They could have, like, have unlocked all their players and for five games have like Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Bale. <laughs> um, of course, you got the free packs, Ultimate Team celebrations, kiss the wrist. Oh, that Suarez, of course, I've always wanted that. Stand tall, which is Rooney's, which has already been used. I think it's similar in... Uh, in FIFA 14, flag kick celebration where you kick the flag. Why not the punch for the flag? That'd be so cool. Ultimate team edition exclusive. You can get the Adidas All Star team. I'm sure you could already get that in FIFA 14. I wonder whether that's um, on here as well. Adidas Predator bundle um, and Ultimate team historic kits, of course. Um, we don't really know specif specific. Like specific kits here, but that will end this video because it has gone on for a while. I'm sorry, I did do quite an in depth look at every single piece of news out so far instead of other people's videos where they normally do separate videos for each one. But I do hope you enjoyed. If you want to see FIFA 15 content, I bloody do, then hit that subscribe button because I will be bringing this out to you on next gen, people. On next gen, fingers crossed, anyway. Oh, we'll have it by then, and that is a pretty much promise. I know I've said it all FIFA 14. I've decided to wait until FIFA 15. I'm pretty sure I will have next gen by FIFA 15. 
So like I said, if you did enjoy this video, if it helped you out with any news that you didn't already know, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel out. And please hit subscribe because I'm getting ready. I'm thinking of series ideas. I've got a few good ones. And um, make sure you don't miss them. I'll see you next time.